five kilobyte productions in association with Little Reels Productions presents a Claricon four transistor <laughs> raw to raw tape recorder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, here's the top cover, Claricon, and a picture of atoms, like for science. Uh, the cover normally it would be permanently attached to the recorder, but when I had the machine apart, I decided to go ahead and leave the cover off because I like having the machine like this without the cover. All it is, is just when you have the cover off, the little things just kind of slide inside there. And it's easily removable when you take the back off. And you don't even see things where the cover would have been. You just see right here a notch piece right there, which would have would go with this piece right here to hold the cover in place. But I just like to leave the cover off. It looks neat like this. And now to get into it. Um this is um an all this is an, an all metal case. The bottom metal piece seems like probably aluminum, cheap metal, but it's still metal. And um, that's metal, that's metal. Very little plastic. The only plastic you can see here is the knob and this knob here. This machine works off original parts, although I had to um, clean some battery contacts and put some metal strips like this on and re-solder a wire to the metal strip because the battery compartment was corroded. It uses two C's and a 9 volt. And show you how the batteries go in. Okay, see, you can see it's made in Japan. Right here is where the microphone would be stored. Didn't come with the original microphone. And there's where the batteries go. See the little metal strip I put there. Yeah, just two C's and a nine volt. Two C's for the motor, and nine volt for the amplifier. Straightforward. Um. When I was on the inside of the machine, I could see from the transistors that this recorder is manufactured by Hitachi. And um, it's actually pretty good for a rim drive recorder. It does not have a speed control on it though. And the machine, for the most part, runs at approximately 7.5 IPS. When I play a tape back on a capstan drive, it's about, it's about 7.5 IPS. Okay. Um, we're going to be making a recording using first this crystal microphone which goes to the Steelman transit tape and this Sony dynamic microphone um, F96 and be comparing the two. I'll be hearing how it is. This is a manual level control. I normally just have the volume either all the way up or in the middle or somewhere around there for a voice recording. I have it rewound and cubed, so let's see how this is here. Okay, using the crystal microphone with the level all the way up and speaking maybe five or six inches away from the microphone, I am making a recording on the Claricon four transistor reel to reel tape recorder. No model number, just the Claricon four transistor rim drive reel to reel tape recorder. And I got this one at an estate sale, very nice recorder. Um, anyway, if you're wondering how much I paid, it was kind of high for a rim drive machine. It was $25. I would rather put pay less, but, you know, you find at the estate sale, you just got to snatch it while you can, so I got it. Anyway, let's see how this sounds. Now let's um, move on to the dynamic microphone. By the way, this is a little bit more distance with this microphone. Now let's do the dyna dynamic. I'm now using the dynamic microphone. This may be overdriven. I'm speaking the same distance I was before when I was using the crystal, about six inches or so. I'm going to set the, the level to mid position. The level is now set at about mid position, and I'm speaking in the same way, same distance. Let's see how this is. Now let's put it back all the way up and do arm's length. Now I'm speaking at arm's length distance with the level all the way up using the dynamic microphone to see how the sound quality sounds. Actually more it's hearing how the sound quality sounds, not seeing how the sound quality sounds. But anyway, let's hear how this comes out.
pretty nice little recorder. Um, now we'll be off. Oh yeah, let me show you this first. Um, this machine does not use a foam pad to um, push against the head. I believe tape tension is actually kept from this, kept by this. Um, it's it's just a little post that has a piece of rubber, and that rubber adds a little bit of friction against the tape, which makes it a little bit harder to pull. Therefore, making the tape push harder against the head. So, it might be an interesting design there. I'll give a couple of shout outs. Well, first shout out goes to the real master. I'm sure he loves this recorder. And um, another shout out going to Clyde Sight. And let's get some more, you know, Spats, Bear, Emerson, Collie, you know, the whole bunch. Now, let's hear how it recorded music. Very, very nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video of this nice voltage recorder. This little Claricom 4 transistor reel to reel tape recorder. I like getting reel to reel tape recorders, reel to reels are so nice.